This video is going to be about how to calculate vertical exaggeration. So when you have drawn your cross section, the cross section isn't going to show exactly what it looks like in real life. It is going to be exaggerated um, depending on what your scale is, your vertical scale. So if you have one centimeter is 20 meters, it's going to look very different to something that's two centimeters for 20 meters. So let's have a look at how to calculate our vertical exaggeration. Here is a cross section that I made in the cross sections video. And we are going to calculate the vertical exaggeration because we know that our cross section is stretched up, stretched out. Um, so our vertical exaggeration is our vertical scale over our horizontal scale. That's vertical divided by horizontal. Okay, so our horizontal we know is 1 is to 50,000 and our vertical is 1 is to 2,000, which I explained in that cross section video. So 1 over 2,000 divided by 1 over 50,000. Then there's something mathsy um, <laughs> where if you have that set up, you can go 1 over 2,000 and then multiply and you switch the other numbers around. Ask a math teacher how that works. You do the inversion and all good. So um, that will give us 25 as an answer. And just remember, don't be a martyr, use a calculator. But wait, there's more. There's more. I'm going to do a different example. So I took the same data, I made a second cross section, but I changed the vertical scale. So instead of 1 is to 2,000, it is now 1 is to 1,000 because I've made it that 2 centimeters is equal to 20 meters in altitude. So it is stretched out. So that means we are going to have a different vertical exaggeration. This does not change our formula. Okay, vertical exaggeration is vertical scale divided by horizontal scale. So we got 1 is to 1,000 divided by 1 is to 50,000. Okay, so there we go. We are going to now do the inversion. 1 over 1,000 multiplied by 50,000 over 1. Okay, then don't be a martyr. Use that calculator. That means that this is 50 times in terms of its exaggeration. So it is 50 times exaggerated from what it actually is. And there we have it. That is how you calculate vertical exaggeration. Okay, so follow the simple formula and you're good to go. And like, share, subscribe. See you soon.